Hello Internet, says Skorkowski, and after the positive response my recounting of the Scott Brown incident received, I decided to share another tabletop war story. And this one is about the most awesome and the most annoying sword we've ever used in D&D. Now, like most game masters, most of my story ideas just come from different things that I've encountered in real life, sort of rebuilt and reimagined inside the gaming setting, and this one is no different. Now, one thing about me is that I have spent a lot of years going to Renaissance fairs. I've done cast, I've done stage shows, I've worked in shops, or I've just gone as a patron. And many years ago, probably 15 or more, I was attending the Texas Renaissance Festival. The campgrounds are this huge party at night. Now, several years before my wife and I got married, but she was there with me, and we were wandering the campgrounds, visiting different campsites of our friends, and we dropped into some of our friends' camp. Now, a few of them were still up partying at the late hour, a few of them had already gone to sleep, but we decided to go ahead and stop and just chat with them and spend the evening. Now, a few minutes later, this incredibly drunk guy that I've never met before comes stumbling into the camp, and he's got this broken lantern, like he's obviously dropped it and broke, but he doesn't bother fixing it, so it kind of looks really sketchy and dangerous to me. But this guy comes stumbling in and he loudly proclaims, Where is the peanut head? The bone saw wishes conference with them. The time for adventure is nigh! While I have no idea who this guy is, some of the other people in camp do know who he is, but no one has any idea why he's calling himself the bone saw or just who in the hell he's talking about when he's saying the peanut head. Now eventually we were able to figure out of which of our mutual friends he was talking about, and we told him that that friend had already gone to bed. That is cocksuckery! The peanut head must rise! The bone saws commanded it! We told him we weren't going to wake our friend up, and instead of leaving, this guy just kind of sticks around in the camp and just spewing strange babble like, You know why they call me the bone saw? Because the bone saw, the bone saw cuts, cuts through the bone! Through the bone! His two favorite words were cocksuckery, which he'd use for anything that he didn't like, and then just periodically at random he'd go, Through the bone! Eventually, my wife and I decided to leave the camp and go to bed, but before we did, he said to her, Baby, has anybody ever told you that your ass looks like two eggs rolling around underneath a napkin? We think that was a compliment, we're not really sure, but we're just going to go ahead and take it as one. Now, shortly after my wife and I left, she says to me, like, wow, that was really memorable. And I said, yeah, because that's about to be my next NPC. Now, fast forward a year or so, when we're playing Dungeons & Dragons, either first or second edition, doesn't really matter here, and the PCs are looting some new magic items that they found in a dungeon, and among them was a plus three Vorpal Sword. Behold! I am the Bone Saw, the greatest Vorpal Blade of all time. Holy crap, a talking sword! I dub thee Peanut Head. Now let the Bone Saw and Peanut Head go forth to adventure! <laughs> The bone saw was a great weapon, however, he also didn't shut up. He was a bully, he was an idiot, and he was also a cursed item, meaning that you couldn't get rid of the bone saw unless he wanted you to, or if you went out of your way to have somebody cast or remove curse on you. However, as annoying as he was, he was also a really kick-ass sword, and for that reason the players decided to keep him. Peanut Head, you will buy the bone saw three winches for the night. What the hell can you even do with them? <laughs> Now that is none of your concern! Now bring me winches, peanut head! The bone saw demands it! He even had this tuneless little song that he'd just sing, which didn't have the consistent words any time, but it went something a lot like this. Cause I'm the bone saw, cut through the bone, bone saw, yeah! <gasps> Now the event that moved the bone saw from being just an interesting magical sword into a legend happened during one game. It was one of those days when the player that was the peanut head was just failing every single roll time and time again, fumbling in combat, and just not being able to hit anything. This is cocksuckery! You fail at everything you've ever tried! You don't deserve the name of Peanut Head. Give me to a child. They would make a better use of me than your incompetence. Now the player was understandably bummed out about failing all these roles, and this was only compounded worse by being insulted by this idiot sword. However, this is just simply the setup for the thing that's about to happen next. You reach a giant cavern in the volcano's heart. The air shimmers from the heat and the pools of bubbling lava. A large natural bridge before you stretches above the lava to an island at the far side, and at its heart is an altar, and atop that is the glowing gem. This looks like a trap to me. Yeah, me too. How you guys want to approach this? You know what? I'm just going to walk across the bridge. Dude, that is totally suicide. 
Yeah, but after the day my character's been having, he just doesn't care. As your character walks across the stone bridge, this enormous shape emerges out of the boiling lava. A fire giant rises before you, holding a gleaming axe. As lava drips off his shoulders, he bellows, You shall not pass. I'm just going to keep on walking like I don't even see him. And then when I get close, I'm just going to swing my sword, but I'm not even going to break stride. Now, for those of you who don't know what a Vorpal Blade does, on the rolling of a natural 20, it cuts the head off of the opponent, which usually means it kills the opponent. Now, everyone goes nuts when this happens, with the exception of the player that rolled the 20, who is struggling his best to keep cool at how epic that was. So I'm just going to walk over there and pick that gem up like it was no big deal, and then just walk back with no expression on my face at all. So the PC walks back to the group, all cool and confident, like that was no big deal. However, the bone saw was having none of that. Did you see that? This fire giant came up out of the lava and he was all, you shall not pass. But the peanut head, the peanut head was all, I'm gonna pass, I'm gonna pass the bone saw right through your neck, through his neck! The Bone Saw loved this story, so much so that he kept telling it over and over again. Sometimes he'd change a few details here and there, but essentially it was just the same story over and over and over. And then this fire giant, you see, he rose up from the lava, flames dripping from his beard. Ah. Uh -huh. And he bellowed, the mountain trembling with his voice, You shall not pass! And you know what happened next? No, tell me. The bone saw said, oh, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass right through your neck, <gasps> through the bone, the bone peanut head. That fire giant fell before us. Yeah. Eventually, the PCs had a special scabbard made for the bone saw that had a silent spell cast inside of it. And this fire giant came up from the lava and he was all, you. <sighs> right through his neck. <laughs> the Peanut Head and Bonesaw had a lot more adventures, and some of them the setup is too long to give here, but we had a great time with the Bonesaw, but eventually that campaign ended. Then a few years later, in a completely different campaign, the PCs are exploring a long and forgotten dungeon, and one of them finds a magic sword. Holy crap, a magic sword! Right through his neck! Remember that Peanut Head? Wait, hold on. Where's the Peanut Head? He must be the new Peanut Head. I dubbed the Peanut Head, and let me tell you the story of the Fire Giant. Seriously, how often is it that not getting the plus three Vorpal Blade is treated like you just dodged a bullet? Now, the Bone Saw did stick around for a while, and eventually a new PC came along that was a little bit more suited to the Bone Saw's style. So the Bone Saw told the Peanut Head that he was no longer the Peanut Head, and that this new player was the Peanut Head, and surprisingly, that character didn't actually argue about that. Now, none of the Bone Saw's later adventures ever matched the fire giant incident, which happened in its first or second game that we even had the sword. However, one funny moment did happen a few years later while we were playing, and the player just seemed to forget which sword it was that he had. You spot one of the mercenaries in the passage before you, but his back is to you and it looks like he doesn't notice that you're there. Okay, then I'm just going to sneak up behind him and then very quietly draw my sword. Right through his neck! Oh yeah! Even years later, after we stopped playing D&D, the Bonesaw came back for a quick cameo role in one of our cyberpunk games as this crazed cab driver. You shall not pass! But there he is, simultaneously the most loved and most hated magic sword that's ever appeared in any of our D&D games. Now the Bone Saw is probably going to be coming back in some form or another in some future campaign, maybe as a magic sword, maybe as some sort of crazed artificial intelligence, or some other form like that. Now one thing I do want to mention is that after the Scott Brown video, a lot of Game Masters reached out to me and they're either asking my permission or my blessing to use Scott Brown on their own personal games, which of course I said yes to all of them. After all, it's their games, and 90% of writing adventures is really just creative thievery. So feel free to use Scott Brown or the Bone Saw, kind of reinterpret or reimagine them, tweak them however you want. It's your game. Have at it and have fun. The Bone Saw thanks you for watching. If you enjoyed my tale, you must give the Bone Saw a like. And if you wish to see more of our videos, even the ones not about the Bone Saw, just hit that subscribe button over there. Go on, touch it. But until next time, Peanut Heads. <gasps> hey, Peanut Head. Yeah? Did they ever tell you about the fire giant? No.
Well, there was this fire giant, you see, and he was coming up out of the lava.